I love entertaining and having friends and family over for dinner. So for the first episode of Design Tips, I am going to be tablescaping. Tablescaping creates an experience and has such a nice atmosphere. The goal is to have a memory stamp so when people look back they can say, oh, I remember that was such an amazing dinner. Since the weather here in the Philippines is unpredictable, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's raining, for today's setup I chose a tropical theme. We are going to take this table from this to this. So I've laid out all the items already that we're going to be using for this tablescape. First of all, we are going to lay out the table runner. Okay. Okay. Once that's laid out, you can then start dressing your table. I like to start with the placemats first, and then we're going to go ahead and put a charger on top. Now this one's made from brass. And then after that, you know, because we're having a tropical themed dinner, I purchased these plastic leaves to go on top of the charges just to add that tropical vibe. Next, we're gonna place the dinner plate. And I'm assuming, of course, that we're gonna have maybe a salad to start, so we always need to include a salad plate. And that goes on top of the dinner plate. Next is a soup bowl. So super quickly. And then, of course, coasters for your glasses goes there and I found these super cute pineapple tumblers that I think is perfect for the theme so we're gonna add that as well in case you guys decide to have drinks this is something that quite a few people forget sometimes I think it's really important to have fabric napkins as well and then we're gonna place that next to your plate and then we have our cutlery like so and that's pretty much the setup for the plates and the bowls and the cutlery and the placemats. When designing a centerpiece it's really important to use the rule of odd numbers so for the centerpiece I'm going to be adding nine different pots with things in them. So we have this pot right here, this leaf I just cut from my garden and then last night or yesterday I did this, this little project of mine. So I got these wheat, um, dried wheat from Divisoria. Now I'm a huge bargain hunter. I love nice things, but I don't really believe in paying so much money to find them. And then as you can see, the pot is black because we do love a good contrast. And then we're gonna add this beautiful jar right here with more dried leaves to the mix. And then lastly, are candles. Candles really do set the mood, especially, you know, it makes it more romantic, it makes it more intimate. And these scented candles you can get from Acasa Manila, they smell gorgeous. And we're just gonna go ahead and place some throughout the centerpiece. As you can see from the setup, I do love mixing different kinds of textures and a little bit of pattern. So you'll see that I use this natural fiber as a table runner and then our placemats are made with raffia. Instead of using all porcelain plates, I opted to use a wooden plate instead for the salad plate to keep it, again, more interesting. It gives it a little bit more contrast as well as opposed to having an all white dinner set. And then same thing I did with the napkins, I decided to do an alternate of black and white, again, just to keep it more interesting. And then if you see the vases, that also plays into the whole color theory of the tablescape. If you like any of the items that you saw in my tablescape scheme for today, um, I'm gonna list down all the links on where to buy them in my description box. And there you have it. This is pretty much the centerpiece. Um, we're gonna take a wide shot of this later so you guys can see the full uh, grandiosity of this tablescape. video please leave a thumbs up now don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel
Also, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see from me in the future, please leave a comment in the comments box. And I'll see you guys next time.